you ever see that HBO series, Dear America, Letters Home, Vietnam? Well, I wrote myself a letter 20 days before I left Vietnam. Ended up being 20 pages long. But uh, I wanted to get a perspective on uh, how I was feeling, what I was thinking, and what I was looking forward to. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to write a letter to myself. And like I said, it ended up being 20 pages long. So I didn't end up writing it all in one day or one evening. It took me a little while. And then it ended up, uh, I put five pages in four different envelopes. And then I asked my buddies to mail the letter, the letters to me after I left. And, you know, mail one a day for uh, four days. So I just thought, well, it'd really be neat to get those letters when I'm home back in the free world. So uh, I was going to just tell you a little bit about the letter. I'm not going to read the whole damn letter. But, um, you know, it took me 52 years before I read the whole letter. I never got pa past page one whenever I'd start to read it. And uh, finally, 52 day, 50, 52 days, <laughs> die. 52 years later, I'm reading this. I'm reading my letter. Uh, this is how the letter came, looks, in, in, in the envelope. Now, I've got my name uh, covered up because back then, I mean, when we mailed our uh, letters home, it was free for us, but we had to write our Social Security number right there on the envelope. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, it's... so here are the four envelopes with the letter in it. And uh, what I did was I, I put it in this box. When it came way back in 1971 and I received it, I wasn't interested in reading it then. I mean, come on, I was back in a free world. So I put it in this little box. And uh, I, put, uh, I put some tape around it and closed it up. And I never even got interested in reading it for uh, a number of years. And then uh, the first time I opened up the box to read the letter, I decided I'd put some, uh, some paper around this and I'd, I'd put a note on it. And it says, um, the first time I read it was November 6th, 1974. I was at uh, Tommy Neal's house over on uh, 24 Highway in Independence, Missouri. And uh, we used to call it Tom, Terrible Tom. He's the guy in another video with the monkey. <laughs> so as anyway, um, you know, like I said, I never got past the first page. Um, then uh, I tried reading it a few other times, and I'd write the date on this box. But uh, this April 5th, 19-something, at 1 or 10.30... Uh, at night, then uh, this paper's kind of tore up. It's really kind of hard to read. Well, anyway, ultimately, finally, 52 years later, I read the entire thing. Uh, what is that? May the 3rd. Is that May or June? Can't even read my own damn writing. Uh, May the 3rd, 2023. So I read it. Now, you might ask yourself, well, why did you read your own letter? Well, for one thing, when I'd start reading it, uh, and I'm going to read a little bit here so you'll kind of get that. I really thought, man, this guy's full of bullshit. <laughs> and the, the guy is me. <laughs> The other part about it is when I'd be reading this, 
you know, it would bring back, it would make real all, all the things that I uh, felt and didn't allow myself to feel while I was in the NOM. Now, I'm, I'm a lot older now, so I've gained a little bit of knowledge and understanding. And uh, so, so I, uh, from a psychologist's point of view, I have an understanding of what's going on when I'm trying to read something like this. But back then, I didn't. So, you know, the shame kind of took over and got to me. But um, I've gotten past that. So, anyway, I read the whole thing, and yeah, you know, it really wasn't bad. Now, one neat thing on these, uh, on these envelopes, on the back of the envelopes, some of my buds uh, wrote a few, uh, I don't know if you, we'll be able to see this or not. They, they wrote a couple little notes to me, like, uh, fire Fat Albert wherever you go. Well, Fat Albert was my 50 caliber machine gun because I was a crew chief door gunner in a helicopter and I shot a 50 cal. So, and we called it Fat Albert. So, fire Fat Albert wherever you go, Uncle Smokey. Oh, and Uncle Smokey was my nickname. And here it says, not short, but working on it. 157 days left. Case. KC Baxter was my third door gunner. And, uh, God, you know, when I read that, I think, holy crap, I'm back in the free world, and he's still got 157 days to go. I, I felt bad for him. But, hey, I did my 365, so we all got to do our own thing. Uh, let's see, what does this say? Oh, uh, a note from Terrible Tom. Don't, uh... Don't stop for a root beer, because I'm on your ass. Terrible Tom. And uh, this one I never really understood that Baxter wrote. He says, I done tried to last night, but I ain't worth a shit. I don't know what he was talking about. And oh, my buddy Cappy, he puts down here. I'll put that up there so you can see it. Uh, it was right there. He says, uh, Andy was here. Now he's gone. Um, I can't hardly read that. Something but carry on. <laughs> oh, anyway, let me not digress any further. Here's a letter. Sorry for all the paper noise, because I know the microphone picks it up. I'm just going to take this off, because I'm only going to read just this one part. One little part. You will see... That says October 10th, 1971. Dear Uncle Smokey, I am none other than yourself speaking to you of a past year, a year that has proven to be a combination of wisdom, excitements, passive moments, yet most of all, a year of your life. <laughs> now, I gotta tell you. <laughs> When I'd read that, I'd think, what the, f that just sounds like so much bullshit. But anyway, I move on. In 10 days, you'll be 20 years old. So there you go. I was 19, pushing 20. Man, 10 days and I'll be 20 years old. And 10 days later, you'll be at home back in the free world. I'll be writing this letter to you throughout these final days which you have left in Vietnam. These days will pass faster than you will notice. Let me tell you something. Those last 20 days drug like you wouldn't believe. At least in my mind, that's the way I read it. I couldn't wait to get out of there. And anyway, so, uh, and then, once again, you will only have dreams of greater things. Well, I, I'm not sure what I was... Ah, I sound like a used car salesman, you know. You're going to love this model. This is just what you need. Let's stop and think about uh, back a bit. Can you remember back at this time last year in 1970? 
Yeah, I can still remember that because that's, that's when I was getting there. And then, you know, I go on to uh, explain to myself how I felt, which was, uh, yeah, that was, that was good and that was interesting. And, um, you know, after I read the entire letter, uh, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but I appreciated myself and what I had to say. And there were things in there that I had forgotten about. And it was neat reading about those things in my own handwriting, in my own words. So uh, I don't regret waiting 52 years to read my letter. I'm glad that I finally was able to read it. It was my letter home from Vietnam, 1971. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, hey, leave a comment if you feel like commenting. And if you feel like subscribing, please do. You know, it, that subscription thing is not like it, it, uh, it's not like you're going to get a bill. It's not about charging you. It's, uh, it just, it helps the people who are, it helps, it, it helps people like me who are trying to get enough subscribers so I can monetize my channel. And I have to get a thousand subscribers and um, I'm a long way from there. But I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep making videos and see if I can get some people to uh, watch and subscribe.